repel immediately to the ward. There's a two-man shockwave as well, actually. Dissonance doing so much work, forcing the flash. And here's a pick setup. Wow, this could be so dangerous to see. Yeah, Bunny Fuku gets caught there. We've got oh, everything being blown, but look at the turnaround for Curse Academy. All of that damage impactful got here at exactly the right time. The double kill from Chris, and CLG thought it was all going their way, but it's not gonna happen. Impactful with another fantastic rocket. I lost my brain in that fight because everything came down at once. This is real danger time to CLG. Yeah, and you can see that bottom wave of Super Creeps is heading straight for those Nexus turrets. Seraph gets caught out there as well. And there's a three-man shockwave there underneath the turret. Double if gets caught and now Twisted advanced on. He's going to get destroyed. Shutdown coming through on top of St. Vicious. Can't believe that's his first death actually. And now Chris so deep, doesn't even die. Somehow gets all of his health back and impactful. Picks up Aphromoo, only two members of CLG alive. And that is going to be the Nexus turrets and the Nexus following. Curse Academy taking game one in commanding fashion. Yeah, it's just back and forth. Unfortunately, Afro moves ability. Oh, yeah, and finally, we've got the jump. There it is, the double shockwave with the massive combo. Dexter tries to come in and get the work done, but it's a really, really nice chrono shift on top of everyone. CLG's health bars are so, so low. Curse Academy now with two kills already. Walking at him, gets the room prison, but as you can see in the mid lane, Dexter actually, there's the insect play again. They kick Bunny Fufu, -fu, but look at the unbreakable, the double shockwave as well under Aphromu and Double Lift. And actually, Aphromu takes the ultimate from Link. Now, Double Lift gets taken down by Impactful Curse Academy, have full reign of this fight, and that whole series of plays was incredible. Is Seraph actually teleporting out of there? They're going straight to the Baron off this one, and Link is running them around the Rosie. Look at Chris, does he have enough of a shield to try and take this one? No! He's gonna go down. That's gonna be a one for one in the bottom lane. But Curse Academy, the three man shockwave immediately deleting CLG off this map. Double lift goes down. Triple kill for Keen. And they get the Baron. Double lift now trying to get the damage down, dodging really, really well. But as you can see, this whole while the inhibitor is going to fall. Oh, that's actually a shockwave to immediately take Afrika out of this fight. So if CLG face check this. They're in a lot of trouble. He can go face checking. Double lift in so much trouble. Gets whimsied as well. That's a decent Mikhail's from Aphromoo, but the fight is now on. This Glacial Fisher doing so well. Two man shockwave in the back line. That's going to be the ultimate onto Double lift, but he's actually going to die straight afterwards. Seraph now as well. I think that might have been a misclicked ultimate because Double lift went, went down when Seraph was available. And that's going to be Keen blowing that uh, Zonyas just for a bit of funsies. And they are going to be able to clear out this last Nexus turret and. Keen just showing that he's the golden boy in this particular team comp because that was a massive victory and they are playing these fights so well. Congratulations to Curse Academy.